How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. Great win today for the Irish over Georgia Tech. They played well today. I loved every second of that game. Now, listen, don't any of you out there watching right now let that 30 to 22 final score fool you. Notre Dame's defense dominated this game today. And the only reason that score looks as close as it does is because we got lazy in the last five minutes of the game. We let our guard down, uh, played a little bit soft, and we gave up two garbage touchdowns. So, but the truth is that anyone who watches the game, and I'm not trying to bash Georgia Tech here, but anyone who watched the game today knows that Notre Dame's defense dominated Georgia Tech from the start. So that score is not as close as it looks. But anyway, um, just to get a few of the negative things out of the way first, Lost another player today to injury, um, Drew Tranquil. Um, I'm not sure what exactly he did. Um, I haven't seen any updates, but he hurt himself while celebrating. And I just got to tell you guys, this is getting ridiculous. All the guys that are just starting to drop like like flies, and we're just we're only a quarter of the season in, and we've lost six guys to injury. This is getting ridiculous. I hate saying this, but it, but it makes me wonder who's going to be next week. Who's getting hurt then? I mean. We gotta be careful. I mean, this we can't afford to lose anybody else. But I mean, it, I think it's safe to say that. Uh, and I don't, even though I don't know his uh, his update or his current status, but it's safe to say that Tranquil's out for the year. I mean, he was on crutches. He had a leg brace on. Doesn't look good. And the way he was screaming after that injury didn't sound good either. So we gotta stay healthy. But anyway. Even though we finished this game sloppy today, I'm still happy that we came out of here with the win. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters, is getting the W. But getting on with the game itself. First off, let me just say this. Magnum, if you're watching, which I know you eventually will see this video, a lot of credit goes to you on this one, my friend. Uh, they, the Irish followed your strategy today, and it paid off. We forced them into a lot of second and long and third and long situations. Kept them off balance that way. It worked. So, Magnum, a lot of credit goes to you on this, my friend. Can't say that enough. But that defense, you know, just start with them for a second. That defense, what a turnaround from last week against Virginia. You know, we uh, had, a, had a lousy performance against the Cavaliers. There's no no doubt about that. But it was, it was clearly you could tell that Van Gorder got on those guys, and those guys came ready to play today because they had – Georgia Tech's uh, option offense stuffed out from the from the get go. I mean, they they Georgia Tech couldn't do anything. We had them stopped all day long. The one standout guy to me, hands down, Jalen Smith. He was all over the place, making plays, making stops. Had the the force fumble. I mean, it's it's really hard to single out an individual performance when the whole defense is playing well. But there's just something about Jalen Smith that he he was getting it done in particular today. But Hats off to the whole defense, of course. Everybody was doing a great job picking up their assignments, making plays, not getting beat. That was great to see. And it's great to see that we can come back from a, from a disappointing performance the week before. And that's what this defense did today for the Irish. So great job. My hat's off to the Irish defense, making plays all day long. Unbelievable performance. Offensively, Deshaun Kaiser in his first career start at Notre Dame. 21 of 30, 242 yards, one touchdown, had the one interception. That was his, really his only blemish. But, you know, when, when you're a rookie making your first ever start, there's going to be mistakes. It happens. And also on that interception, it wasn't all him. There was some miscommunication on the, on the, uh, uh, the jump ball. Um, it was a, a miscut by Robinson. But, you know, Mistakes happen, but still, these are mistakes that I don't like to see happen. I don't like seeing turnovers happen when we're on our opponent's five-yard line. you got to come out of points in that situation. But Kaiser did a great job. He rebounded the whole game. When Georgia, when Georgia Tech started to get some momentum back, he didn't panic. He kept, his, he kept uh, his head on, and he stayed focused, and he led the Irish to a victory. C.J. Procise, man, there's not enough good things you can say about this guy. Uh, you know, his first season ever playing running back. He is just, I mean, like I said last week, you could have fooled me that he's never played running back before. Just unbelievable performance. 
198 yards on the ground, average of, I think, 8 or 9 yards a carry, three touchdowns. Holy cow. I mean, he has been a very, a very nice surprise for us this season. After Folston goes down, he's put the, taken. He's put the load on his shoulder, and he's just carried us to the finish line every single time. Had the 91-yard touchdown run, the longest play in Notre Dame Stadium history. Unbelievable. I hope he keeps it up. I hope, and you know, he's get he's doing himself a lot of favors getting the scouts talking about him. That's for sure. Um, Will Fuller, again, enough good, th not enough good things to say about this guy either. Uh, another 100-plus yard performance, one touchdown. I think he had 135 yards to finish out the day, to be exact. I mean, he's been our go-to receiver, hands down. Been making big catches, um, big touchdowns when we need him. Comes through in the clutch. Again, you can't say enough good things about him either. He keeps, uh, he's keeping, uh, keeping us going offensively. That's for sure. But just, um, you know, everybody was stepping up, making plays today. today. Great game all around. Great, great team performance. Um, you know, like I said, the only real negative things about this game are, like I said, we lost another one to injury. Um, you know, I even though I, I I agree, the most important thing, and I I won't back away from this, but the most important thing at the end of the day is getting the win. But I'd be lying to you guys if I said that I didn't hate how we finished that game today. Um, we got to play from start to finish. I, I said that at the start of this video, but it can't be said enough. We can't keep doing that and expect to come out on top all the time. We can't get lazy. We can't get soft at the end of the game. I mean, just because you have a nice, cushy little lead doesn't mean you start playing soft and just letting your guard down and um, let them get back into the, in, into the game. Because, like I said, that score is that that score does not reflect this game at all. It was a dominating performance by the, by the defense, but I know a lot of people will see that final score and think, oh, well, it wasn't a blowout, Sean. What are you talking about? Well, anyone who know, watches the game, watch the game today knows the truth. But still, though, three games in, um, we've, we've seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of great things that this team is capable of doing, even with all the guys we've lost to injury. Um, today says a lot about our coaching. You know, we can, with all the guys we've lost, Brian Kelly, Brian Van Gorder, and the rest of the staff, they can take the, the guys, the backups, and make them into something, bring out the best in them. And it shows that these guys, these guys on the bench can come in and step in when needed. You know, the next guy in mentality, I like it. You know, these no one's breaking under pressure. Everyone's doing their jobs. And they're acting like they've done this before a million times. That, that's great to see. So a lot of good things, but there's a lot of things that could use some improvement too. But I'm confident in our coaching staff and our players that they can fix those mistakes. But off to a great start this season, despite all the – the unfortunate situations we've gotten ourselves into with the injuries and all that. A um, few mental mistakes, but we've, we've been able to overcome them so far, and I'm confident that these guys will continue to rise to the occasion and improve every single week. So with that said, guys, um, that's all I have for you in this recap. Another great win for the Irish over a ranked opponent. Uh, we got UMass coming in here next week, so not saying it's going to be a break or anything like that, but you know, I'll, I'll save all that for the preview. So, with that said, everyone, this is ND Sean 45 signing off. And as always, God bless and go Irish, baby!